Hey, so welcome back. And this is another daily code problem. So today it's called restaurant growth. Oh, click the wrong link here. And so what this is, is a medium level uh, SQL problem where we're given four columns here. The first one's the primary key, customer ID. Then you got the name of the customer, the date they visited, and the amount they spent that day. And so all that you wanna do is return four columns here, the date that they visited. Well, what this actually represents is the kind of seven day uh, window. We're considering the current day in the six days like before it, so prior to that day. And then you wanna take the total sum of all that the customer spent in that uh, window range. But then you also wanna calculate the average amount. And I think this is the main kind of trick here where the average amount is the average of the total sum that the business like took in on each day. And so you basically take the average of the current day or the total sum of what they earned the current day, the total sum of what they earned the previous day, the total sum of what they earned the day before that, and then you take the average of them all. Okay, so to do that, what you first wanna do is you wanna define like a CTE here. So let's say, okay, with, and we'll say like um, day sum and we'll create this here. So we want to select the day that they visited on. And then we also want to get that total amount that they earned on that particular day. So let's sum the amount. And we'll just give this the alias amount here. This is coming from that customer table. And the reason why we use this CTE here is we need to perform this aggregation before we take the average. And so you just need to have another kind of like subquery here. And so then we just group by this particular visited on date. Okay, so now we wanna implement this. So then we want to select the visited on date. Then we're going to create the like total amount. And then we're also going to want to create the average amount. Okay, and so these will just be aggregations of this amount column that we just created. So essentially this will be the sum of the sums within that window range. Okay, and so let's just take the sum of that amount and then we're going to want to take the average of that amount. Now to actually get that window range, initially when I first thought of this and I saw, and I saw that they had like the window, I immediately thought of using Windows function because that's exactly what it's meant for. But you don't really want to lag behind uh, the previous rows like six extra times and get that. Like that's um, very repetitive. It doesn't look very good on code and it isn't very performant. So it doesn't really scale well. So by doing it this way, we can just perform one join with itself. And you just do that wherever it meets the criteria here, which is that particular date range. And so we just say, okay, wherever we see that the difference between the two dates. Oh, we had to first bring this from our uh, day sum table that we just created. And we'll just do it A and B to make it simple for the aliases. So we just want the current visited on date. And we compare it with the other visited on date from the other table. We just make sure that that date difference is between zero and six. So there's a couple ways you could do this. Um, I find this the simplest where it just says, okay, we want to consider if this visit on date is the same date and also if it's six days prior. You want this um, between zero here because when you're taking the average amount, you're going to be taking it from this other table B. And so you want to include the current date. Uh, same thing with this one here. And But we want the visited on to be A here since we're aggregating on this. Okay, and so with that, what we're gonna do is you'll see we want to make sure that we're having, and if you looked at the results here, you're only outputting like the last four rows because we, they actually have that criteria where they have a six day history. And so you just wanna make sure that the count here is at least six. So we're the count is at least six or greater than six. And then we're also gonna be ordering by this visited on date in ascending order. Okay, so let's try running that. Oh, and the only other catch here, oh, I see that 
something's wrong here. Um, oh, we didn't group by. So let's where it's that, and we're going to group by this visited on date. There, that looks much better. And so the other catch here is we just want to round it to two decimal places, and you can see that's all that's missing here. So to do that, we just wrap this and add a two and call the round a function here. Great. And let's try submitting this. Awesome and success. So yeah, I hope that helped. Um, it's a great, great question. You know, don't always jump to using a Windows function. Try, okay, can I join this table with itself and just add a special where clause there. So yeah, I hope it helped and good luck um, with the rest of your algorithms and uh, SQL prep. So thanks for watching.